Happy holidays, everybody. Today I'm gonna to be showing you one of my favorite recipes to make during the holiday season. It's easy, it's colorful, and everybody loves it. It's so delicious, and like I said, super easy, which is what we all need during the holiday season, right? This is the perfect thing to make when you have family coming into town. It's not necessarily the big holiday meal, so to speak, but it's definitely a dish that you can serve when you're leading up to the big holiday. Now the recipe I'm talking about is called Celebration Rice and Beans. I gave it that name due to the bright, fun colors and also the zesty flavors that you get due to those few simple spices that we'll be adding. All right, the very first step is to chop up an onion. We just need half of a large or medium yellow or white onion. Just like that, nice and easy. Watch those fingers. Give it a nice final chop just to make sure we got all those big pieces in. I'm gonna turn my skillet on to about medium high heat. And to that skillet, I'm just gonna add about a tablespoon, maybe just a half a tablespoon of either olive oil or canola oil. Once that skillet has had a moment to heat up, we'll add that onion. Get that going. All right, and while we let those get some color, we'll start chopping our red bell pepper. Give it a nice fine dice. Like that. I'm not emotional, it's just the onions, I swear. I do have those onion goggles, but I'm not wearing those right now. Okay, I might. Look at that, onion goggles, it's a real thing, I'm not lying. Patented design, comfortable foam seals eyes and protects them from irritating onion vapors. Anti-fog lenses offer maximum clarity and eye protection. Unisex design, fits most face shapes, but not over eyeglasses. Storage case keeps goggles clean. Hmm, and there you have it. You have a problem with onions? Get a pair of eye goggles. All right. To prevent mascara from going everywhere, I'm gonna put on my onion goggles. Let's get over to sauteing, shall we? All right, this onion is looking pretty good. Now that these onions are cooked, I think I'm safe to take off the goggles. Oh, Jeff would kill me if he knew that I wore these on my video. He'll see it, that's okay. We are ready to add the rest of our ingredients. Wait until you see how fast this goes. It's so easy. Okay, so we have our chopped red bell pepper. We're gonna be adding that, but we're also gonna be adding some corn, just a third cup, and some peas. And then also be adding that red bell pepper. You can tell that you're definitely getting some nice color in this dish just with these vegetables being added, right? Nice toss. I just need to warm these through. They really don't need to be cooked. After about 30 seconds to a minute of sauteing, we're just gonna turn off our heat. And then the next thing we need to do is add our spices. Two teaspoons of cumin, two teaspoons of oregano. And then in this dish, I have garlic powder as well as some salt and pepper. For all the exact measurements, just jump on audreydenham.com where you can find a printable version of this recipe. We just need to toss the vegetables in those spices, just like that. All right, so now all we need to do is add the two stars of the show, which are, of course, the rice and beans. This recipe is so easy, and part of the reason is because we're using those frozen ingredients and canned beans. Now, these beans have already been drained and rinsed, but what I do after that is I put them into a cereal-sized bowl, just like this, and then I cover them in water to let them soak. What this does is it helps with the digestibility factor, if you know what I'm saying. Even if you just have 10 minutes in the water, it helps. Just drain them off one more time. One last rinse. Now as for our rice, if you really wanna make life easy on yourself, you can use frozen brown rice. All you do is transfer it to a bowl just like this and warm it up for a few minutes and you're good to go. I use it in a pinch all the time. All right, let's add our last two ingredients to the pan. All right, just wanna turn the heat back to medium. And then we can start adding our last two ingredients, the rice and beans. Now you don't want it piping hot when it goes into the pan. We want it either completely cooled or somewhat cooled. And our pinto beans. I love this recipe so much that when the magazine Where Women Cook told me that they'd like to feature me for their winter issue last year, I knew for sure that I had to feature Celebration Rice and Beans along with one of my favorite taco recipes, which is roasted vegetable tacos with a smoky pomegranate sauce. You can find both of those recipes on audreydunham.com. Okay, that's it. 
Talk about an easy recipe, right? I like to transfer it to a nice colorful bowl to complement the colors of the dish. We have the red, the yellow, the green. Pile it in there. Wow, I wish you could smell this. It smells so good. I can't wait to try this. I'm gonna put some into a little bowl for me to sample right here and now. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. So zesty and fun, I love it. You can find the full recipe for Celebration Rice and Beans on AudreyDenham.com. To find more of my videos featuring recipes, tips and tricks in the kitchen, and even some health advice, you can click right here. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe by clicking right here. And if you'd like to get instant notifications anytime that I post a new video, be sure to click that bell. Thanks for watching and happy holidays, everybody. I'll see you next time.